my name is Shira Moskowitz and I'm an elementary school special education and technology teacher in New York City. And since the pandemic, I have been using a lot of digital tools to help my students who are working with me in the classroom and students who are working remotely. I was a big fan of Jamboard along with all their Google products. And recently I have heard that Jamboard is going away. And part of me is really sad about that because I used that so much when I was teaching. But the other part of me knows that I already am familiar in using Lucid in my classroom. And there are a lot of features that will be able to easily and seamlessly transition from one to the other. And there are some features that Jamboard didn't have that Lucid does that will be really, really nice to use in my classroom. Great things about Lucid is the ability to bring students to where you are on the board. You can have multiple boards. And if a student can't find you or isn't sure what's going on, you can open up the facilitator tools. And when you open up that panel, there's an option to take the lead. And that helps you to draw all of your users and all of your students right into the frame that you're on, even if they've added a new frame or working in something different. It's really helpful. Another thing that's really helpful about Lucid is the collaboration component. So if I have a student responding to one of my prompts, I can have another student respond with emojis. They can respond with multiple emojis. Different students can respond. And that's the surface level of interaction. They can engage and respond to someone else's work. But we can also have a deeper level of interaction where students are commenting on other students' comments or other students' contributions. And that takes the collaborative work that we've been doing to a much deeper level where they're building on each other. Then the first student can respond back to the second student. It can really build into a much deeper conversation that we just didn't have the option to before. So the last big concern is I have this great game in Jamboard. What do I do with it now? So you can actually just download as an image. So I have this game set to go, open up a new Lucid document, insert the image, and then I can just lock it so that my students don't um, delete it. Um, and then they can play the game you know, they can insert shapes, whatever they want. In this case, they were going to insert different colored lines to mark an equation that they had solved. So they can still do that. Drag in the line, change the color, and we can play. We can add frames around it, multiple boards, everything that we would do before.